All right, thanks, Alex. If you drive along Highway 49 in Peach County, you cannot miss the brand new high school building sitting right there on the hill. That's right. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live from their campus to show you how it looks on the inside. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, we're less than two weeks away from the new Peach County High School building being complete. And Superintendent Lionel Brown and a few of the students took me inside to give me a little bit of a sneak peek of what it looks like. Cameron Yawn, Courtney Smith, and Tim Deese get to see the inside of the new Peach County High School for the first time before the doors officially open in a month. It's nerve wracking, um, but I'm excited. My parents graduated from the old high school, so I'm ready to be in a new building. This school has been taught about for many years, since before my sister was in the school, like 12 years ago. I feel like it's a new environment. I feel like it's a lot of room for opportunity, a lot of room for change. The $45 million project started over a year ago. Superintendent Lionel Brown says they're able to offer more educational programs and extracurriculars with the new space. Adding uh, some, some extra classroom units along with the athletic facilities, a stadium on campus, and uh, uh, to school nutrition uh, with our lunchroom, uh, a very, very nice cafetorium that we're able to do our, 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 our one act and uh, also uh, some other theatrical productions in. We're getting some brand new tennis courts here, great new addition to the new school that we unfortunately didn't have at the last school. For the future of say like our ag program, we are going to move out, maybe get a new barn. Well, the Fort Valley Middle School is planning to take over our old barn and facilities. The building should be completed by July 6th. Yawn and Smith will start their senior year this fall in a brand new high school. I'm ready to leave Peach County and make a mark, be one of the first classes to graduate from here. It's a big deal for us. 50 years from now, I'm going to remember that this class was the example for everyone that came after them. Now the district is still finalizing decisions on the plans they have for the old high school building. And as for me, the time has come to say goodbye. This will be my last live shot with 13 WMAZ. But before I leave, I just want to say thank you to all of the educators who made it extremely easy to cover education in Central Georgia for the last three years. And the viewers, thank you for your support. Uh, this was my first job out of school, and you guys were just so supportive with everything, um, with my progress just every step of the way. So I guess uh, this is the last time I'll be saying this, but reporting live in Peach County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. And Pepper, you have been a great addition to the morning team. We are going to miss you so much. We are so excited for your next steps, and we know that you're going to do great things. You know, and I believe I speak for everyone when we say that we are Thanks. definitely wishing you the best with all of your endeavors.